Hello everybody. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. It's Thursday. I've been helping out at the homeless shelter on Tuesdays and Thursdays and it's been amazing to be able to serve in that way, especially because I'm really, I like to organize things so like the boots will be all messed up and I just get to, you know, make everything nice for the people that are coming to the shelter. So all that to say is awesome because it distracts me from the pain that I've been in. So a couple of things, I'll, I'm going to get my phone out to read the note about the end. I think I'll do cancer videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Huntington's on Mondays and Wednesdays. So this t today is going to be about the cancer. Um, so let me read this note and then I'll read you the few things. Okay. Okay. Um, Yes, so I know I posted that I was going to get the medical marijuana card, um, but after talking to my mama, who, who knows, we know some horticulturists here um, that actually make their own CBD oil and all of that, so I told my mom that I was going to get a card, and she's like, honey, I didn't realize that it's still expensive. I thought it was free or discounted or whatever. So I'm going to have my um, these friends of ours probably make me some pot brownies uh, so I can find out, you know, if they will help with the pain and sleep and all of that. Also, I... Um, I was able to, um, after my foot has been better and my bladder's better, I was able to three times a week, um, hill, hill walking and running five miles a time, and I love that, and I tried to go do that a couple weeks ago, but with this thing that's going on with the throat, uh, it's, I get really, um, it makes me feel like I'm going to cough if I don't have something to drink, so I try not to get my heart rate up too high, so I did take a nice walk three miles a few days ago, and I'm going to try to do a probably a five mile walk um on tomorrow because it's supposed to be really nice but i'm just trying to like see what my body feels up to when it comes to exercising like that okay also um i used to vape cbd oil um but also obviously with this thing going on i cannot vape or smoke any cigarettes so that is, a, yeah, so I have to, with the CBD oil, I just eat that. Um, okay. Oh, yes. Okay. 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 I think I got all of that information for you guys. Yes. Okay. Um, so, uh, also, so I have to say, um, the doctor gave me some Prilosec because I was getting really bad heartburn and my sister-in-law, who's about to become a nurse, just said that can be related to sores in the esophagus. So it was really bad and then my doctor gave me Prilosec and I just take that once a day before I eat breakfast and it's been amazing. I haven't had any heartburn so that's a huge praise report and she also is having me do around the clock Tylenol so it's been amazing like you know still painful but not nearly as bad as it was before I started to do the Tylenol. So also I was having to take uh, two Percocets because the dose she gave me was a little bit lower and it wasn't helping with the pain unless I took two. So now the pain, uh, she gave me one that has a higher dose with the Percocet. So last night, I was, the last two nights, like, it's been the perfect amount of um, being able to not have a lot of pain. Plus, I was getting really nauseous taking two Percocets. Obviously, it wasn't supposed to be doing that, so it's nice I haven't gotten too nauseous. But when I do go to bed, um, I always have um, ginger ale because 
I usually take um, some yogurt to eat my pills, and I love Greek yogurt now, and they were on sale, so I always take eat that as my last snack and um, take it with my medicine, and so that, um, yes, I can't drink orange juice or orange oranges anymore, which was my favorite thing to drink before bed because I sometimes got nauseous and so it was working great but now my mouth it's just like burns like the citrus hurts my mouth so much because of the sores on there so now I usually have some water and then also the ginger ale and that so if I'm feeling nauseous I drink a little of either of those and I'm feeling a lot better so all right Think of a few more things on here. Oh yes. Uh, also, yes. Um, okay, I'm gonna say talking about that. Oh yes. And also the pain now has gone into my teeth, my ears, my jaw, um, sometimes my neck. So I know those are all the symptoms, you know, of mouth cancer. So Thankfully, I'm comfortable enough with this new medicine to last until uh, the 31st, which is less than two weeks away, I think. And so hopefully, though, it's my um, intro appointment or um, consultation with the ENT person. So prayers that I get uh, an appointment to get the biopsy very quickly after that. Um, all right. Oh yes, she also um, prescribed me the magic mouthwash. Oh my gosh, it did not help and it tasted so bad every time I did it. Oh, so she gave me a new mouthwash. Sorry, I gotta find the label, so. All right, so this is Something that has steroids in it. Okay. I can't see the name on here, but... Yeah, so... Oh, dexamethasone. Yes, I think that's a steroid or something. So I'm hopeful that this will work and it doesn't taste as bad as the other mouthwash. All right. Yes, and also st still having such dry mouth and dry lips. So again, I, that is why I always have to have water. All right. All right. I think that's everything there. Now I want to read you guys uh, the devotional of the day. Um, so it's still the... Love Heals Devotional, and we're still in chapter um, two. I, or, or, anyway, so I'll just read a little bit more. Um, and the top, the um, line up here, the title is Old Time Religion. Daily practices reminds us of a song from the late 19th century. Give me that old time religion. It's a mantra to hum while we explore how to respond to universal injustices and personal pain. That old-time religion was tried, was tried in a fiery furnace. It makes us love everybody. It's good enough for me. Oh, that's right. Uh, yes, some of the lyrics they have there. We remember that others have gone through what we are experiencing. Others didn't know the road before them. Others felt loneliness and pain. The old wounds humanity creates demand that we respond with love to the oldest and deepest truths of religion. Thistle Farms is full of daily rituals that change lives. We start every day sitting in a circle and lighting a candle. The candle is made by women survivors when the light, oh, survivors, and when we light it, we say, we light this candle for the women still on the streets. We light this candle for the women 
trying to find their way home. And we light the candle because a single candle can cut a path through the darkest night. Then we begin our day of making essential oils and bringing healing and products, oh, bring healing and products that allow us to talk about women's freedom, to change our culture, and to enable commitments of women to be economically independent. All right, you guys, I hope you were blessed. Oh, yes. And the song, um, I'm uh, Thy Will Be Done, I'm going to do again by Hillary Scott. And yes, hope you guys are having a blessed week. And I will talk when I have more to say.